In the previous class, I gave you an assignment to fill up the remaining part of the form. So if you've, did, if you've done this assignment, then we are going to be having something like this, all right? So we are going to be handling form submission. Again, you have the step-by-step -step right here in my website. So feel free to follow the instructions right here. I'd like to also remind you to, sub, uh, to subscribe to my channel. If you've not subscribed to my channel at this point, if you've subscribed, please like and share my video as well. And let me know how you feel in the comment, but in the comment box below this video. All right. So let's handle form submission, uh, similar to the way, uh, function for get request works. We can also write a function for post request. Uh, this function will be executed when a submit button inside the form is clicked. So let's add, let's change the existing save button to cancel, and then we can add a new submit button inside the form. All right. So these are our form. These are form. A submit button has to be inside the form. As you can see, uh, what we already have this submit button here. This save is outside the form. So we're going to add a submit button inside the form. But let me just show you something. You can see that this form is kind of, uh, kind of uh, like a portrait. You can also change it to landscape by simply going to the friends TS file, and I think it should be in open. Um, I can't remember exactly, but I think it should be. Just give me one second. It should be somewhere here. Uh, why? Okay, let me not waste time with this. I'm going to be talking about this uh, styling of the form a little later. So let's focus on form submission. So the instruction says we need to add a submit button. So inside the form right here, first I want to add a div tag uh, and I'm going to add a button inside. So this button is what I'm going to be using to submit the form. So I'm going to just call it submit. So if I save everything and then I check what we have here, you can see that we have a submit button, but not looking too good. I want to centralize it and kind of put it, put a border around it. So in this case, you already know how to do this. Uh, the code is here. I'm going to copy and paste. Now, Data, data dismiss is equal to model, which means that this button will actually dismiss this form after executing the function that it will execute. So I'm going to paste this right here. And at this point, if I save everything and go back to the page, you can see that the button looks a bit presentable. That is fine. So the next step we are going to be talking about is to submit this form. Now, this form you see here is called uh, a template driven form. So I'm going to be explaining about what template driven form is all about as we go along. For now, for template driven form, the first thing you'll need to specify is the name of the form. So I'm going to say the name of the form should be hash f, hash f. Sorry, I don't know why. All right. So this is the name of the form. Uh, the name of the form. Uh, ng form okay and you are going to specify what happens when the form is submitted we want to run a function called on submit we've not written this function we are going to write it on submit and this submit is going to take this form as a parameter no validate because for now we are not handling any validation so give me a second no validate okay perfect so for now we don't have any submit function now i'm going to explain to you what happens when a form is submitted when a form is submitted first it's going to use the same http client that was used to make the the the, the, the get request but in this time we are going to specify a post url and simply pass it the form value as you can see so what i'm going to do i'm going to go to my uh, TS file, my TypeScript file, and let's write this function actually instead of copying and paste, because as I write it, I'll be able to explain it to you and it's going to make uh, more sense to you as I explain. So the name of the form is going to be on submit, and it's going to take a parameter of type ng 
form, okay? So if you go back to the HTML page, you can see that the parameter is given to it, this form, which is this form, parent form where the submit uh, is actually, uh, that contains the submit button. So we open and close our uh, braces and we, you should have a URL for the URL where you are going to submit this form. Now, if I go to these frames, okay, the URL for submission of a new form, give me one second, if I can find it, uh, let me just, because I actually need to show you how the URL for submit. So this is actually the API where we are submitting the, the item. So the URL for submit is this, all right? So the URL for submit is this. I'm going to just go back here and then I'm going to copy this slash friends slash add new, okay? Now, this is the URL here. Actually, we have to do something called, um, normally do something called a, a resource-based URL, meaning that you don't actually need to say add new. Maybe you can just say slash friends, but you are sending a post request to the same URL is also going to work. So this, just to make it a bit clearer to you, let's not talk about this, uh, um, this uh, what's it called? This resource-based URL versus versus verb based URL. All right, so this is the URL. Oh, give me one second, let me just correct this. All right, and I need the opening bracket, or the opening uh, quotes. What, what is happening to me today? All right, so here I need to add I think my, my keyboard is screwing up or something. All right, so I don't really know where this problem is coming from, but whatever whatever the case, I need to put a semicolon at the end. So I'm gonna allow TypeScript to help me do this like this. Okay, so this is the URL for submission, but we say add, add, it's gonna be slash add new. I think that's a URL, let me just check. Uh, slash add new, that's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna say control S, okay. So now things are screwed up here. Just reduce this. So later on, I'm gonna be talking about layouting, but for now, let's just uh, go with what we have, okay. So this is the URL for submit, and now we are going to make a post request. So I'm gonna say this dot, dot HTTP client, this time is dot post. When you say that post, you specify the URL and specify the form f that value. So f that value contains all the values of data entered into the form. Okay, and you can say that subscribe as usual. So want to in such a way that in this case we are submitting a form and we need when the result comes back, the result is going to be assigned to a variable called result. So there's a result. Okay. And the results will be assigned based on a an anonymous function like this. I'm gonna say this <coughs> dot uh, ng on in it. Okay. Um, and you only need this is fine. So I think I need a semicolon here, and I'm going to say this that that model service dot dismiss all. So basically, you are closing the you are closing all the model that you opened. So uh, okay, result is equal to okay yeah. So it's going to be anonymous function. So you need to use the right. Uh, syntax. All right, so what is happening here? We are saying po dot, dot post. So this is how I make mistakes sometimes. Okay, so post, specify the URL and the content that subscribe. So you are now waiting for the result to come. When the function is executed successfully, 
you simply reload the page when you say list of ngon init it simply reloads the page remember ngon init on init is this reloads the, the page so when you submit a new record it's going to appear immediately on the on the page let's see how far we've gone let's just try it out just to see right so let me just increase the font i hope you can see it but let me just increase it a little bit so at this point i'm going to click on this i'm going to add let's say uh emily uh james uh department is um uh, economics and email is emily at yahoo.com country let's just leave it at okay let's add a country we've not added before canada all right so i'm going to submit boom submit nothing happens so this is really strange so i'm going to go back to inspect let me see where the problem is coming from says ah so we have a typo here you can see on submit so it's going to be on submit okay so i'm going to save everything command s to save everything i'm going to click on new friend again i'm going to shift this a little bit out and hopefully i can get back everything i typed uh james and the department is economics and the email is emily at yahoo and the country is canada and i'm going to save okay so you can see yeah so i think we have issues so for some reason it actually didn't add so let's check where the problem is coming from so let's see uh let's go to check http so i'm going to check here to see if actually it added so i'm going to say command b so uh, let's check here so it actually didn't add so let's check okay friends add new okay ah uh, local host friends add new okay let's see a second friends add new um oh i made a silly mistake let me just show you i omitted something this is a mistake i've made sometimes for you to be able to capture what is in this form onto the the onto your the type onto this file you should be you should add something so you need to add ng model so that's kind of it does the binding between the content of the form so i normally forget so i'm going to say ng model so you are going to add this everywhere okay so just copy this and add it everywhere okay so without it the content of the form is actually going to be empty right so i'm going to add it here also add it here you don't need to add an id because i think the the id is auto generated column so if i go back here if i go here you can see that the id here is auto generated okay so ng model that was a problem so i'm going to save everything and i'm going to go back to our angular app i'm going to close this i'm going to now go to add new wow everything is broken so let's inspect no problem let's inspect let's just if ng model is used within a form tag either the name attribute must be set okay Either the name attribute must be set or the form control must be. Okay, so let's solve this problem. Um, okay, 
I think the best thing to do is to just go back here to check if we are missing something. Says, uh, add these, okay. Add the submit, okay. Finally, we need to the function, okay. Um, Note you you have to set the name and the ID. I recommend setting to, setting them to the same value. Okay. Ah. Oh, wow. I think I I actually mixed mixed up something. So you need to set the name and the ID. Well, I don't know. I keep making the same mistake. So the name you need to set the name of the of the controls. So in this case we have name is equal to first name. And this case name is equal to last name. This case name is equal to department. So these names is going to be exactly the same name that was used to create the class. Name is equal to email. And finally here name is equal to country. All right, so this is where we got it wrong. So I'm going to save everything. Hopefully our work is done. So let me just shift this. I'm very, very sure I'm not having any errors anymore. So I'm going to go to new friends. I'm going to go to Emily, James, department, economics, uh, email emily at yahoo.com and country is Canada. Okay, so I'm going to submit. Great. So you can see it comes here at number seven, as you can see right here. So the, the, the point is I actually did not take out all these errors I'm having because I want you to learn how to debug your program. So always right click and go to inspect. That's going to show you the, the console and you can actually see what is happening there. So I'm going to stop here. In the next part, we are going to now be talking about how to uh, a detailed record or maybe view details of a record. If you've come this far, congrats to you. And remember to subscribe, like and share this video and let me know if you have any challenges whatsoever. I remain kind on the tech pro and I'm always there for you.